Hello, welcome to today's video. As you can tell, I'm going to be doing some B class on road online racing, but it's going to be a bit different because I'm going to do a challenge. Well, not a challenge, it's challenging for my building and what cars are best. So, if I. So, it's going to be sort of like JDM versus American versus European car. So, I build one Japanese car, I build one American car, and I build one European car. And then I see which one is best. It's could be quite stereotypical, like if American cars could be like a classic American car and it's a power build, a Japanese car be a handling build, and then a European car might be an average build. But don't really know. So anyway, it's gonna be B class on road, online, all that normal good stuff. And yeah. I've already built already built the cars and you shall see them right now. Okay, this is the first race is gonna be nine. So, gonna take quite a while, but okay, it's Japanese versus American at the moment. He had a head start, which is not very fair. And he's also quite a lot higher level than me, but uh, we shall find out how good E86 is. Now, I know I just said uh, we built. Oh my god, my racing is awful. You can probably tell I haven't raced it. A long time, a little bit rusty, but the worst. Oh. So we are turning in way too soon into these corners. Yeah. So at the moment I'm last, but I'm going to be counting up the points from each race. If it's not that interesting, I might not show the race. Obviously, whereas the video might be like an hour long, and you want to watch that, do you? So I'll probably do the probably I'll show you this race so you get used to it, and then to the end, the final race when I have the points, and then. Yeah, see what there is. So, yeah, we're doing, we're keeping up. I guess we're not too far behind, but he, his car is obviously much, much faster down the straight, and there is nothing I can do with that, and I am not doing very well with these corners because I haven't wasted about three months online. Oh! Catching up now, look at this! Yes, right behind the challenger. Now. Oh, around the inside, look at that. That was a magnificent overtake. Well, they're gonna come straight back past me here, aren't you? Yep, that's the speed of a V8 compared to a four cylinder. Right, okay, so. Oh, God, I am not. Ah! I am not used to, uh, used to this in ages. Ooh. Anyway, this is only the first race. And to be fair, I am catching him through these final corners. Oh no, if I didn't hit the fence I would have overtaken him. We're right behind him. I might be able to overtake him in one of these corners. Not too sure. I, I'm not going to. These corners are flat. But if I didn't hit the fence, I could have got him. That was very good. I Very good. Very close. Anyway, that's... Uh, okay. Wait, so, wait, what? I won? Well, I'm going to tell you that. I won that, obviously. And I have... 20 points so far, which is very good. Now, I'm you're not going to. I'm not going to really show you the rest of this. I'm going to show you the end of the very last race of each championship, and then you see the all the points because you don't really want to have an hour-long video. And yeah, we'll see what the 86 is like, and then we shall get into an our American. Vehicle. The final race is to cross. We've got a few more cars here now. Oh, yeah, four. 
I've got. I'm thinking I shall show the first race and the last race instead of all three races. Just cut out the middle. And we had did have the Mercury and the Abarth in the th in the second race. I am not looking forward to this because all the other cars are power builds. And that Mercury especially has so much power compared to everything else. It, I'm not even kidding. It's, just, it's wheel spinning now. At 100 miles an hour, it's still wheel spinning. And I'm, it's the least powerful car here. I think I've got 250 horsepower, I think. I am... I'm doing pretty well. I've overtaken the challenge. Oh dear God, I'm going to tow sneaky Robert's wound. Uh, there we go, the amount of understeer I got there was not very good. But anyway, we are... We are in third. I came third in the last race, so I've been th first, third and third. I know my win on the first one was slightly due to lag. My god, that was not a good corner, but anyway, it's going pretty well. Right, into second gear to there. Now, this part of the course is not what it's actually basically here to the end now. It's all long straights and long flat corners but what can you do that mercury and the abarth i am never going to catch up to them and i'm just hope that challenger is more acceleration than top speed okay he's struggling to get past me though which is something i'm still taking quite awful lines as well, but he hasn't got past me. There we go, third gear. Half point seven seconds. That's just how quick that Mercury is on these straight bits. And there's oh there's also the thing coming out probably the lightest car in this field. The bath might be lighter, not too sure, but it's also the it's over the dam and dam will have water over the top, which I'm not really looking forward for. Oh, that was awful. I have no idea how the challenger isn't overtaking me, but he isn't, and I seem to be catching up to the bath. Okay, the challenger is now overtaking me. Right. Okay, and now I'm fourth. Let's just see how. Oh god, I, I've got an alarm going off. Why is the alarm going off? Oh, I've pressed the wrong button. I pressed snoozed. Right, luckily that's probably not going to last to the end of the thing. I meant to set that alarm for tomorrow, not today. Right. Anyway, I know it's two o'clock now. So. Are we catching up to the challenger? We might be. I. Oh dear God! Right there we go. Oh, you're saying slow down? You just drive faster. I, I have an excuse. My car has literally no power compared to everyone else's, and we're on very long straights. And also, I'm taking awful lines. I know that. I'm going for this person. That can help. Probably not. My, how? I'm 28 seconds, but I'm not even going to finish at this rate. I am not even kidding. I am not going to finish. I'm 32 seconds behind the leader. Uh, I do, I am actually not... Uh, I'm, I'm only six seconds behind second, but I'm 35 seconds, 36 seconds behind the leader. And that's only because my car has no, has probably a tenth. Oh, 
like 25 a quarter, maybe a fifth of his car's power. He probably has over a thousand horsepower in that thing, and I have about 200 and something. They are fighting. The Challenger and the Abarth are fighting for a full second. That Will they crash out? Probably not, but if they do, it will help me. They also are fighting with each other. That is slowing themselves down. I can go flat through there and flat through here. They probably did also, but not if they were fighting, maybe not. I'm now 45 seconds behind. Either. Dear God. Okay, right. He's already finished. I'm 45 seconds behind. I'm not. I'm not going to finish this. But they are. They. They. They might not even finish this. Dear, dear God. But I'm not. For how much less little power my car has compared to theirs? That everyone else has had a power build. Three. Yeah, I still have another whole corner to go. Yeah, 96%. Oh, did not finish, but at the end of the championship, we did win thanks to our first victory and also our third place in the second one with 42 points, which is very good. Now we shall get into our American vehicle. Here we go in second race. We've got. Ah, oh, Pontiac GTO, we've got nearly 500 horsepower in this. 493 to be precise, it's in Winton. Not the best, but we're against a Triumph Spitfire. 1962. See how this goes. That does seem to be all wheel drive. Probably then hasn't got. Or might have very, very, very skinny tyres, and they've missed the checkpoints. Have they? Yes, they have. Right, so I'm in the lead. Um, this isn't my normal style of building, though, because I tend to do an average. The cars tend to stick around 300 horsepower and go for maybe some lightness and handling stuff. This. Has 400, nearly 500 horsepower in B class, which you can still work. We've got some wide vintage racing tyres at the back, the widest I can get, and some pretty wide ones at the front. How wide they exactly are, but they're uh, good enough. Now, I'm going to win this obviously because I am a long head way ahead of the Spitfire. It would be better if there were more people in the lobby. Maybe around six to seven is what you really want. But what can you do? Okay, right. So Japanese at the moment got 42 points. That's our target for this. That means we're going to we well, obviously going to win this. That means we're going to have to win at least. To do. Oh, oh, we're gonna have to win at least one of the events. I think. If he leaves, it's gonna be very sad, and I'm going to have to redo all of this bit again, otherwise, I'm just going to win. But. Yes. Now, this is where his all wheel drive is gonna. But then he is miles back, and I still do have nearly 500 horsepower and very, very wide rear tyres. So, yeah, uh, yeah, doing pretty well. Now, I've also got street suspension, street brakes, and I've also got a five speed gearbox in this with normal four speed, so it's also a bit better. And I have also made. Got, got, a street roll cage and just make it a little bit stiffer. But that 
that's really about it. Power, tyres, suspension. Oh yeah, and also added a base charge by So that's all in the bit of the handbrake there just to get me round that corner. I got to get a bit of under so that's not what I wanted. I was hoping I could uh, get a bit of oversteer but obviously not. Understood. Anyway, we're now coming on to the uh, flat bit of the course. I have done a little test of this before, after building it, and I think I topped that out at around 160 miles an hour. So, for well, B class goal for one of my builds, that's very good because my car is around mid 150s on this straight. So that, well, I wanted to test it on this straight, but that's where they do. And that's around corners, but it's downhill. What can we get across the line? Obviously, we're going to win 153. That's probably because we win winter, but there no, we won. 1969 Pontiac GTO The Judge. The reason why I chose the Pontiac GTO The Judge is because the original GTO, the one from 1965, was probably the first ever car which was designed to be a muscle car so I chose the judge because it's better it's a modified version of the normal GTO and I like it and also I think 1969 is the not the pinnacle but the year where most muscle cars were at their best it's sort of the pinnacle but yeah you got the 69 charge you got this you got now you got the Boss 302 as I was 69, but a lot of stuff came around in 1969. Start of the final race here, Horizon Festival Circuit. I am not looking forward, we've got a Super, Scirocco, Trano, and a Golf. I am second most level car here. I am not looking forward to for this because my car has an 8500 horsepower. Well, I've got 40 points at the moment because I won the second race, and the Triumph left halfway through. Why it just did. That golf seems to be all wheel drive. Oh, it's the same person from earlier who was in the uh, Challenger. And I'm in NAS because I've got I've simply just got the wrong kind of car for this. <laughs> I've got the wrong car for this track. I've got a 500 horsepower American boat, which weighs as much as a cruise liner. Oh, I've got enough power to get into, get to get into people's ways through corners, and also annoy them on the straights, which is very good and nice indeed. So, yes. oh my God, stop, turn, please! Oh my God, this thing is. Quite a handful on this circuit. There's the Supra. You're not going to catch me. You're not. The Supra's probably not going to get past me because I am so big. And I have so much power. I can just get in its way through the corners. And then simply outrun it on the straights. Everyone else does seem to be getting away. But... Yeah, it's... Tends to go for... There we go. Right, that was much better. Already on the final lap. Oh my god, what are you doing, you maniac? Oh, okay, can I get past him here? It's like bump there. There we go. Have the power of a V8 with 500 horsepower. There we go. You can't. You've gone into ghost mode and I'm power. Yes, the power of the V8. Fourth. I came first in the first two races. Best lap. 40. I got the worst lap. Probably because it's a massive, massive boat. But anyway, I got 52 points, which puts 
the Americans 10 points in front of the Japanese. Like, this is going to be a series on my channel. I'm going to be doing B class road, off road, and then rallying. Get into that. Get into that. And I've opened. No! I've done a thing. I've opened a game up on my laptop. But anyway, the Americans are now on 52 points, which is 10 points in front of the Japanese. First race of the championship we're in, 928 GTS for this, has about 345 horsepower, and that's all I know at the moment, but hopefully it's good, it's more average than the, it's more power than the trainer, but heavier and better handling than the GTO. We've got a Volkswagen Beetle here as well, that seems to be a sleeper. But we shall see what happens. Now, this is this car's second appearance on the channel. It was a month ago when I reviewed this. It was, to be fair, uh, if you were from Argentina, is that Argentina, yeah, you probably got quite annoyed with me. But nobody was who watched that video, so it doesn't really matter. And the moment we are fourth of being beaten, we've got some kind of beetle, which... Well, to be fair, if this was a 9-11, it would be quite... What's the word? Uh, I can't remember the word, but you know, probably be quite one of those. But I mean, a 9 8 which is a V8, is probably quite similar to the uh, GTO being for an engine rear or driving a V8, but it's a GT car, and also less power and more handling built. It's got nearly a hundred... It's got a hundred and fifty... Oh, yeah, hundred Almost exactly a hundred and fifty horsepower less as the uh, GTO, so should be good. And also, it's quite a lot newer than the GTO. It's 1980-something. Like something. But, yeah, that's no moment because I've got more people in the lobby. Not doing too well, we're in fourth. Should really be doing all of these and more people, but yeah, what can you do? It might might need to organise these, but being the size of my channel is Yeah, I just can't. So in fourth gear at the moment going up the hill. Are we catching up to the beetle? I think the beetle is a power bill. It does seem to be a bit of a power build, that Beetle. I am quite ahead of the Supra. Right. Okay, looks like for second is catching up to first a bit. I don't know what they're in. Uh, might, they might be in a bath? I think, or I know someone's in a trainer. The trainer's in second. That means I think the bath is in first. Not entirely sure though, we should really be looking at that. I'm going instead of the cars that the uh, people are driving. Oh, it's definitely true. That's right. Oh, I don't know what it is. Now the power of 928, it's V8 engine. Board into life. Five seconds behind the leader, yep. Yeah. Also my line through there has been horrible. Uh, that wasn't too bad. Right, 6.4 seconds behind, or 0 0.4 seconds behind first, and I've crossed the line in third. Time of 3 minutes 8. That was a. It wasn't a bath. What happened to the above? Did it miss a checkpoint? I mean, guess it must have. Oh, well, I'm third and 14th place. I guessed it must have missed a checkpoint, that the above. Right. Interesting. Hmm. Right at the end. Right. So anyway, it's I've had look basically every single time. So every single time, which is good. So on to the second race, and we shall see what happens. Okay, start the final race at Edinburgh Street Circuit. That has an Evo has joined, and they are a moron because well they just are. They can't really drive. They just get crashed into me. Anyway, that's what you happen. That's what normally happens in online racing. That does happen, and that shall be part of the points. 
We've got 24 points at the moment, so your if the Porsche wants to stay in contention, we will have to win. But we shall see. Oh, side line was good there. This is a average is out build, so this is a good. Ah. No, it's not. It's going to go awful. I'm going to be fifth. I'm going to be asked. Wait, one hope. Okay, can I, I don't know what I just, yeah, that Evo just blocks the road so you no know one can get past. You can see what they're doing there. Yeah, look, I'm... I had to let back that because, for the 86 because of the goddamn Evo just blocking. Oh, ah, got a good win out of that corner there. Evo's four-wheel drive is better through some of the corners, but I can catch him up. I can get the better. Oh, that's not good. That's not gone good. All right. <laughs> there we go. That's the Evo. That was my goal. Now I'll see can I catch up to some of the other cars. Okay, now that corner, that chicane did not go well. This, this, this car's just simply a bit too heavy. Oh, dear God, yeah, it's just simply a bit too heavy, and he's just stopped at the finish line, Evo, because he knows he's bad at driving. Yeah, it's just simply too heavy for the... Oh, he's left. Because he's bad. But it's just simply... Too, yeah, this is just simply too heavy for any sort of uh, fast cornering. I am... Oh, it's not fun this to get round corners. It's too heavy and it understeers just a bit too much for my liking. But oh, I beat the Evo. He, did, he might have left, but I beat him anyway. That's even more. There we go. Well, sadly, the Europeans are last. Uh, I got a pretty good lap. I beat the Abar from best lap time on 105.1, but then, oh my god, that's a really, how did the trainer got a 101? 36 points overall. So, at the moment, the first episode of Continent. Yep, yeah, 36. So, we have the Japanese, well, the Americans in the lead with 52 points. Japanese second and 42 and the Europeans in third with 36. Now this is going to go for quite a while. We're going to, it's going to so we've got this B class on racing. We've done that. Now we're going to next time we're going to have B class off road racing. That shall we shall uh, hopefully do that. That's going to be the next episode of the series. Next episode shall be Ambleside timed laps. Which I'm just about to film after this. Going to be some cars and that. I haven't really decided them yet. I'm just going to make them up as I go along. But anyway, thank you for watching. Go to my Discord server. There should be a link for that in the description. Where you can check out the points of the series as they go up. And also the timed laps. All the... Yeah. That should be a link, also a link to my Twitch channel, shall be in the description where this was streamed live, and yeah.
comment, like, subscribe, and goodbye.